Hi, good morning, everybody. I want to get the morning devotional out to you. It says in 1 Corinthians 10, 13, that no temptation is given for such is common to man. But God is faithful. He will not allow you to be tempted above that which you can bear. But with the temptation will give you the way of escape. Now, remember this. God's telling us here that everybody's tempted. And he says it's common to man. That's why we can never say, well, I can't do it. It's impossible. I, I just, you know, nobody goes through what I go through or whatnot. He says it's common to man. We all go through trials. We all go through temptations. And, but you know, here's the kicker. God tells us he's faithful though. God's got the devil on a leash. He's got the, the enemy on a leash. He says that basically that temptation is common to all of us. Now we all have different ones, but it's common. And then he tells us this, that he's faithful though. He'll only let the devil tempt us to a certain point, a certain threshold, if you will. Now, what that threshold is, only he knows. And what that threshold is, the threshold is for the individual, only he knows. Meaning that we all have different thresholds, temptations common to all of us, but God knows what's going on inside of our hearts and our minds. He knows what each person can take, what each person can't take. And God, again, he uses those temptations and those trials, those temptations. He allows the devil to do those things so he can strengthen us. He wants us to, he'll let us get to the, to the threshold, right? And then if we hold on, we'll say, okay, Lord, we're going to do it your way. We're going to take the way of escape. And that's what God uses to strengthen us and make us more like Jesus Christ. Now, the question for us is, are we taking the way of escape? Or do we turn to our fleshly ways? Say, Lord, I did, I've done this too many times. I, I've already given in. You know, now I'm at a point, now I'm at a time where I just can't take it anymore. So I'm not taking the way of escape. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go sin it up. Now listen, we've all done that. But we can never say that it, it was God's fault or there was not a way out. And you think about it in your life, the way God does it is, it's kind of like this. He's he'll. Things will happen, you'll be, you'll get up in the middle of the night, you'll be tempted to do this or look at that. You'll be driving down the road, you'll be tempted to say this or, or react this way when somebody cuts you off. If that happens, that means God allowed that to happen for a reason, but there's a way of escape. And the Holy Spirit will come and he'll say, don't react this way, don't go there, don't do this. God comes and he speaks to us and he'll bring his word to our remembrance, but it's up to us if we're gonna take the way of escape. So I wanna encourage you today. Maybe you faltered and you fell a little bit yesterday. You get up today and you say, Lord, I know you're faithful, I know you love me. You're not gonna let things come my way that I can't handle. But God, I gotta trust you for victory. Give me the strength to take the way of escape. Let me pray for you. Lord, pray for your people today, whoever watches this devotional that you give them the strength and the power to be obedient to you and take the way of escape, Lord, so you can conform them more into the image of your son, Jesus Christ. Pray that for me also, in Jesus' name, amen. God bless you.